What happens if you crossbreed a jaguar and a lion? Hi there, welcome to my channel. This video will discuss what happens when two wild cats crossbreed or mate. Contrary to what many people think, there are big cat hybrids. By big cat hybrids, we are referring to lions, tigers, jaguars, and leopards who have the physical and behavioral features of two different wild cats. For instance, tigers with manes or lions with stripes. This video will talk about the result of a jaguar and a lion mating with each other. Before we start, do remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on our videos. When a jaguar and a lion crossbreed, the lion will most likely get pregnant and give birth to an offspring. The offspring is known as a jag lion or a jaguar. The name was derived from the combination of the two names. This is because the natural crossbreeding of the two animals has not occurred before, so there is no way to give a natural name to the offspring. However, there is no telling which of the animals the jag lion will look like. It is simply the luck of the draw to determine the physical features of the jag lion. But one thing is for sure. You can expect a mixture of both genes and physical features. While there has not been any natural crossbreeding of the two animals, we have had an example in a nature park. A jag lion and a lion crossbred in April 2006 at the Bear Creek Sanctuary in Ontario, Canada, and the lion gave birth to two offspring. We can use these offspring's physical and genetic features to guess what the result of a jaguar and lion crossbreeding would look like. First off, we could expect spots on the jag lion. Spots are dominant genes or features in any wild cat that has them. Thus, it is expected that when the cat mates with a cat without spots, the spots will still find a way to show in the offspring. However, the spots may be faint or dominant, but you can always expect spots on the offspring. Having said that, if the jaguar, who normally bears the spots, has a melanistic coat, the shiny black coat, you could expect the offspring to also come with the black coat. Also, you may not find a mane on the jag lion even if the lion was the male. We don't know why this is. It could be because the gene responsible for the growth of manes is recessive in the offspring. However, you can expect the jag lion to inherit the tuft at the end of the lion's tail. A jag lion could also take on the size of the lion rather than the jaguars. Jaguars are not as big as the lion, and seeing as a jag lion is usually very big, it is easy to assume that it takes on the weight and size of the panthera leo. Ideally, crossbreeding between two wild cats rarely happens in nature. It is rare or almost impossible to find a jaguar in the jungle mating with a lion or vice versa. Crossbreeding between two wild cats usually occurs in the private zoo kept by rich people who keep exotic animals. It could also occur in a nature park, but in most cases, it is due to an oversight of the attendant or caregiver in these nature parks. As a result, we don't have a lot of examples to show the results of jaguars and lions crossbreeding. However, the example used to describe the morphology of the jag lion occurred in a nature park in Canada. The jaguar and lion involved were named Diablo and Lola, respectively. The jaguar was the male and Lola the lion was the female. The two wild cats had grown up together in the park and had become inseparable. Attempts made to separate both animals ended in futility, and the animals were left to remain together until Lola entered the heat period. Before the attendants could separate them, mating had already occurred, and Lola became pregnant, giving birth to two offspring in April 2006. The jag lion cubs were named Jazara and Tsunami, and they went on to become full-grown wild cats. This brings us to the end of the video. 
We hope you find it interesting and educating. If you did, please turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we release another video. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video so other people can see it. You can also share the video with your friends and family.